So we're having for you. Double booked it, huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just go back to the broker and then we'll cancel it. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes for 2021. 6 a.m. First load of 2020. Let's go get it. And we are headed up to Asheville area. Um, Fletcher, North Carolina is what it says for the city, but it's right between Hendersonville and Asheville. Right by the Asheville airport, actually. Was eating sushi yesterday. I had a little day outing with a uh, truck and wife. Gigi came over and watched the kids for us, which we appreciate that. Gigi, which is Truck and Wives' mom. And uh, had some sushi at Mirasaki in downtown Greenville. Good stuff, good stuff. Met up with an old friend. Um, but yeah, I was sitting there eating sushi. And of course, I look at the Lewis just saying, hey, <clears throat> anything going to, to Atlanta tomorrow? And this one popped up 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. to uh, pick up. And it's straight through. So I have to be there before 4 o'clock. So it should be. Easily there before four o'clock. Was pending 85 traffic. Good old Highway 85 between Greenville and Atlanta. So we need to get over to Atlanta though, so we can get this fan clutch fixed. We have to see if we're going to rebuild it or replace the whole thing. That kind of stuff. It's really they don't really have brand new ones. Um, the whole assemblies, the whole uh, arm that comes and attaches to the front of the, the block. They don't really have those, but you can have rebuild kits. So we're researching a little bit. Talking with Caitlin over at Hangout hey Diesel. She's a the parts orderer, so if you ever talk to her, she'll be your parts girl. Awesome girl. Allison's sister. Yeah, let's get up here to Nashville Airport. This oh another reason I took this load, it was $785. A little bit. I'd like, I'd like to try and stay a thousand bucks to Atlanta, but um $785 for Monday morning early, <coughs> straight through. And it's only 650 pounds. <laughs> I said, if that's not a typo, I'll take that all day. I'm a little fan issue. I don't want to be uh, pushing the engine too hard with the high RPM. So we'll come down this hill again and go across 85. So let's get to the Asheville Airport. Exit 40, Asheville Regional Airport. Let's get here. Quick left, and then we go around the airport a little bit to the other side of it, and uh, the satellite imaged it, and there was a big warehouse over there. The address on the app, again, if you just typed in, or if you hit the uh, direct link inside the Uber app, it took you to like a field, but it was probably an eighth of a mile from the actual place, but it wasn't exactly the place. It's crazy. I understand why they do that, but always check your satellite imaging. Asheville's got a little, little uh, crazy off ramps here. Got a red light up there. And see some airplanes over there. They have these kind of, I don't know what they're called, roundabouts or traffic shifts or what, but we're on the left side here and then we cross over to the right. I guess it's kind of um, makes it easier for getting on and off the freeway, but a little different. Definitely a little different. What's going on, Penske truck? Penske truck rental. Well, he was anticipating that light. He was ready to go. Good sign. I've never picked up from up here. Never picked up from Scottsdale, or not Scottsdale, uh, Asheville Airport, but it says foreign goods. That's the commodity, so there's a nice uh, kid work right there. So, one big warehouse 
else I saw with the GPS or the satellite imaging. Sierra Nevada truck entrance up there, so it must be right by the brewery. Sierra Nevada. They have like a cement truck up here, but. Alright, shipping and receiving, a little air on the ground, and visitor employee. Alright, we'll stay right, shipping and receiving. I don't know if we stop here and check in, I would imagine. That's what it looks like. Well, they got a day cab in here, nice. Not a day cab, a. Uh, Cab over, what am I thinking? Oil marks on the ground, so that must be where we're stopping. Alright, mask up. Let's go see what they're doing. Uber freight um broke your load. So you're loaded? No, I need to get loaded. I'm picking up. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool place. The cement guy's going back in. Let's check our temperature. See what it says. Please get close for taking temperature. Normal temperature. Normal temperature, okay. <laughs> no, he was doing construction work in the parking lot. It triggers you down. It's, it's a, it's a shit hole. Uh, my back. I know where it is. <laughs> and Sierra Nevada is a uh, breweries right here? Yeah, right over there. Right across the way, huh? Yep. Is that the only one in America or they have a couple of them? Uh, I think I was, they have, you know, they have a couple in California, but this is on the East, east Coast. Because I was thinking, yes, you're in Nevada, that, the California thing. Jeff Lamar Spears, Mike. RMT, hey, sir, are you doing, uh, shuttling or just, was it fixed? Saying, you're not us. Like, oh, his <laughs> He's got his name right on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's not picking up the brewery. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it'd be a little bit heavier than 650. If that was uh... a yeah. <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> That's a cool truck. That's what I told him. Like, you, you ever see a what's it called? A cabin? Uh, a cabin, yeah. Uh -huh. International. It's nice. <laughs> it's, it's just one of his company's trucks. I just gave it to him today. That's cool. Yeah, those are, uh, when you have to work at the engine, the whole thing flips up. So if you got anything in there, it all goes flying. So now I'm thinking they might have booked you. Oh, okay. So they booked another one? Did you check it? Yeah, they checked it. He was just here, huh? He's still here. Oh, he's still here. He's getting loaded? Yeah. So, yeah. Was it, a, did you know the broker on that one? Try to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Give a little more serious mic. All right, thank you. All right. So, we're having for you. Double booked it, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go back to the broker and then I'll cancel it. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes for 2021. Do you need any kind of tracking numbers or who picked up or what? Um, I don't know. Because I got is Dino truck and Picked up X Freight, and I think it's what you said you were going to. The X Freight, yep. Yeah. Atlanta. So he's picking up right now. Okay. Was it 650 pounds? Was that what it was? Uh, shit, I don't, I'm not you sure. You can't see pounds and stuff on it, wait. So it didn't break it into two loads, just one load, huh? Yeah, he said a couple of freights. Yeah, a couple of things. Crates. 650 pounds is all it was. All right, I'll get on the call with them and try to cancel it and then see what they say and then talk to you all. all right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks for your service, too, man. Yeah, thank you. 2021 starting off with a bang <laughs> so they double booked it mike's awesome dude though i was talking to him for the last 15 20 minutes and that was a cool cab over well we're right next to sierra nevada it is a beautiful day it's 31 degrees out here we're gonna go see what we uh get on the phone with Uber for right now and get a tow new for this about 150 bucks but um head back down the hill i'll uh, look at the low boards real quick see if we get anything else poor mike just uh lowered the arm on this guy when he just went through it <laughs> he's got remotes in there and uh i think he hit it twice too many times and it was dragging down the side of this guy's trailer see if there's any damage to it yeah i think he's gonna go have a word with mike see if they uh 
broke the arm or anything. T's and P's for the arm and the trailer. Let's see what is what happened here. I didn't see it fall on the ground, so who knows? We'll see when he pulls away. That might be the load I was supposed to have. I don't know. But there's another truck over here. Oh, he just pulled out the. He was closing his doors. Let's see what the damage is. Poor Mike. I don't think it hurt the trailer at all, but it definitely uh, hurt the arm. Yikes. She's down. Bent all the way sideways. T's and P's to the arm and for Mike. Let's get back to these load boards. And Uber Freight just told us, hey, wait right there. They always tell you to stay on location. If I find another load, I'm going to start heading that way. They'll still pay you a, a tow no. Truck order not used. But they tell you to wait here, and sometimes they don't call you back for like four hours. Like, just a waste of time. Get something else in the truck. Try and get over to Atlanta. Poor Mike. I think he, he might have just hit the wrong button again or something, but uh, he just hit it and the thing fell off. <laughs> uh, some other guy came out and looked at it. Yikes. Someone's going to run that over when they're leaving. Should move it out of the way. But it still has a cord attached to it. <laughs> That's the highlight of my morning. couple loads. There's one in Green, uh, Greenville, Tennessee, about 60 miles north of me. And it's going over to Atlanta, so I'd have to go... Um, the Chattanooga route. Go say hi to Goon Squad and Sammy makes sense. If Sammy's even home, but I would definitely reach out to him if I got that load. But it's posted at 1100 bucks, pretty good, but uh, heavy. And it's not that a big of a grade coming down from Chattanooga. It's pretty steady, so easy going, but we'll see. A little windy, a little pretty. 32 degrees though. And that's the highlight of our morning. Our load being double booked. And oh, he's back out. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, Mike. He's a good guy. Thanks for your service, Mike. Well, that's it. Nothing. Uh, a couple of little loads here and there, but I think I'm going to head back down the mountain and um, look for something for tomorrow. But Allison at Hey Guy Diesel, who I'm going to see to get this clutch uh, replaced or rebuilt told me a little trick so let's go try that trick out right now while we're still here hanging with mike where's mike i saw him just now there he is yeah hanging out probably waiting for the repair guy to show up nice beautiful sunshine let's go try this out so now that the engine's pretty cool you'll see there's little she said she thinks there's seven millimeter those bolts right there you take off those and flip those, and I guess there's an air seal being made right there. There's a white lining in there that she said if it's all cracked or messed up, you can. Uh, it's part of the rebuild. So she says take all those bolts off. There's three pieces. You can see them up top. A lot of overexposure up there. There you go. And uh, with those off, you can flip them around, put them back on, and it might give you a better seal. So let's try that. Now, I'm not seeing any white in there. Like she said, like, there would be a seal. So maybe mine just deteriorated completely. Or I kind of got to get in there with a pick and get it out. I don't know. But I'm just going to flip these and see if that does do something. So you just flip them around like that and have the side that was wearing into it turn it around on all three of them, tighten them down, and we'll give it a whirl. See if that changes something. Plugged our, it's kind of bright, solenoid back in down here. Little blue blue thing up there, right there. Plug that back in, so it'll shoot air to it again, and we shall see what goes on. We still have some major leakage with the uh, air. You can hear it change with the spinning. When it comes back around. There's the most of the leak, so it's down there somewhere inside of here. So that's what you actually replace, about 600 bucks. That's what we're gonna do with Hey Guy. It was worth a shot though, Re reverse those plates. Well, Mike, the guard finally got out of here, and I think we are too. Um, definitely gonna still be stuck on high mode. Those plates being switched around didn't change it. She was saying sometimes when it's starting to wear out, that'll help it, but um, 
ours is leaking real bad from the air, so we're gonna replace that whole front piece on there. But we gotta get over to Atlanta, and this load was supposed to take us there. But hey, we got $150, they already gave us the tow new. Um, beautiful day, not much loads out there. There's a couple, there's one going to Mississippi, but way out there. A couple going to Dallas, but I can't take the truck like this right here. It's um, heavy, it's, I think it's Congra, the, the canned foods up there in Newport, Tennessee. I'm only 60 miles from there, but um, I can't go all the way to Dallas with a truck like this. I gotta get this fan clutch replaced, so. Plus, Tank's birthday, my uh, youngest child is on the 9th, so be back home, stay close to home for that. And uh, if you wanna help support the channel, one of these hats or uh, these cool shirts here, or sweatshirts, or car hard too. Car hard if it shows up. And uh, we have new tumblers, hot and cold beverages, uh, 30 ounce, they're awesome. So uh, Brian up there at Cas Gear showed us those today and they're ready to ship. So they're in the store now. Every uh, $5 spent is a free entry to the OBS giveaway also, which look back a couple videos, I did an update on uh, different parts. We're doing a 97 Chevy Silverado with an LS1 swap into it. And we're giving it away. So God bless you, we'll get down the mountain. If anything else fun happens, like always, we'll come back to you. Came by this on the way up, and I was trying to figure out what it was. Not the roundabout, but uh, straight ahead you'll see a BMX track's pretty cool. And whatever that is right there is a very nice uh, community. The door's open, so I can't see it. But yeah, it looks right ahead. You got a uh, BMX track. That's super cool. All over the place. Bunch of kids uh, going through there. So yeah, let's find sixth gear. Yeah, right by the Asheville Airport. If you are a BMX rider. What a heck of a uh, track right there. Stop by and get some jumps in. And I'm gonna find my gears. <laughs> well, we didn't make it far. We had about three miles on uh, 26 and dead stop. So, let's see what we got going on. And I've been noticing the last week, um, this Hendersonville, which is like apple juice, it's a heavy one, over to um, Atlanta has been popping up later in the day on JB Hunt load board so there's a truck stop up here in Hendersonville which is right down the way from that pickup but I got there for an hour uh, not really hungry get a snack or something and then see if that load pops up or anything else pops up I got a load from CH Robinson that now it is the change of the um, the market a little bit it's the winter time now but this load was all day 1100 1200 uh, when the market was good the freight was good in the season but now uh, it's offered at 650 I said I'll probably do it for 850 and they said no 650 is the best we'll do I said okay but that's right here in, in Greenville down to um, over to Atlanta Union City but it has a 10 a.m. drop so I'd rather be at Hey Guy earlier than that because I'll have to drop at 10 get out of there 11 noon <clears throat> and then um, that'll give me only a half day over at Hey Guy because Hey Guy is still another 45 minutes south of there. Love Union City, so just running through my head, trying to get over there. If I'm gonna get over there, I want it to be uh, a full day of wrenching, hanging out with the, the crew there. So we'll see what we get. We'll see what is ahead of us right here for this little uh, mix up. And we're, I think we are gonna do the 13 speed. I was talking to Allison just now when I was changing those plates around, and she said, uh, Do you wanna do that? And I said, Sure. There's a different plate I have to buy coming uh, on the floor of the truck that has more holes for the extra airline for the 13 speeds, for the extra three, to switch them over with the air. Because if you guys don't know, if you're new to trucking, the, you switch them high to low gears with the, with the air solenoid in your uh, shifter, so you can hear it right here. You can hear that noise. You have to add one more of those to do 13 gears. So she said the actual me mechanical part that goes on the side of the, the even full of 10 speed is just a, a bolt on, I guess, that goes on the side. So. We shall see what we get. And I'm rambling, but while I'm rambling, traffic's picking up, so hey. Looking good out here. There's another cab over over there to the right. If you can see this, the stack, just for a second over there, you can see the uh, cab over warming up. That's pretty cool. Lots of cab overs up here in North Carolina. Looks like we just had a bit of a, I can't get over, I got an RL next to me. Maybe just something had to be moved on or off the uh, highway for construction, I don't know. Maybe a little boy's picking up an excavator or something. Who knows? We are gonna keep going southbound. Well, a couple of those out of Charlotte. 
Um, one load out of Effingham, South Carolina, which is way down by Florence. But it drops on the 6th, uh, early in the morning, so I could get all the way out to Atlanta. <clears throat> it's in Atlanta, where it drops, and um, do the repair tomorrow, and then drop it on the 6th, but... Oh no, here's a, here are these two loads. They're pretty good. One's paying $3 a mile up to, Pen but it's going to Pennsylvania. With a fan like this, I don't think I can do that, so I, I shot for the moon on that one. And then the Effingham one, um, I just did like two days pay. Uh, it's heavy, it's Del Monte food, so probably won't get nothing, but we're gonna head back down home. And uh, here's those two loads, and let's get back home. Because it's Effingham one's on the way, and the Charlotte one, I could branch off and go there, but I don't think we're getting nothing. But let's see what we got. Just got off the phone with Caitlin at Hey Guy Diesel and Allison. Um, Caitlin's getting all the parts ordered. It's $800, brand new. There's a reman kit, like you can um, rebuild it yourself. A rebuild kit, not a reman, for $600, bucks, like $550 or $599. But um, $200 more, you get the whole brand new one. So I'd rather just do the brand new one than have to rebuild it, put it back together, put it back in there. So we got that ordered. We're going to do an oil change while we're over there. And then talking to Allison, that was Caitlin that ordered all the parts for me. She got them from MHC. It's a Cummins dealer. And then uh, talking to Allison, we were talking about the 13 speed conversion for some good content to do that. And she was mistaken. The, um, it's real easy to change it from a 9 speed to a 13. But from a 10 to a 13, you're better off just buying a 13. So <laughs> I said, yeah, we'll skip that. We're not going to uh, rip apart the gearbox and Try to make that all happen. I don't even know if you can do that, but that was the uh, conversation. So we're trying to get a load over there for tomorrow because today just ended up being there. Eh. And that combo load I showed you earlier, the uh, combo probably plays the most games besides Coyote where they try and manipulate you to think that you have lost the bid or someone else got it. And they told me I lost the bid to someone else at a lower price and then they had the same exact load up um, for $75 more instead of $1,200, it was $1,275. So I bid on that one again, and then after about 30 minutes, I uh, raised my bid up a little bit, like 50 bucks, and then they just sent me something right away and say that um, you lost the bid again. Like They just try and manipulate you to think that someone else got it, but sometimes they do have someone else that gets it, but the majority of the time it uh, is them trying to persuade you. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at Convoy, and uh, don't get discouraged. Get back home to your kids if you're, if you're blessed enough to do that like myself, and we're gonna get this van to stop full speed pretty soon enough so let's get back home and that's all folks back home and uh let's get to old red and these babies and we are home let's go see what these babies are doing i'm just gonna go through that door to get the bag oh, yes beautiful day out here still got the contractors working they're doing the other side of the Downstairs tile now, and then um, bathroom should be almost done. Heck yeah. But yeah, just trucking.shop, guys. Check that out. If you want to go ahead and give an entry to win this uh, 97 OBS, it's one free entry with the five speed, and it has an LS1 going in it. Long tube headers, all the good stuff. And you still need to do those door pins. <laughs> all right, baby. So, where are you guys at? Let's go to the park. What's up, Tiki? <laughs> What's up, dudes? Uh, hey, you guys want to get dressed up real quick and go to the park? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder what's in these boxes. You already dressed up? Hey, we always take a bath. Hi, baby. Mama, we're going outside to take a park. To take a park. I take. Uh, what are you eating, boy? Okay, what are we doing? Wow, we are. Right we did. Wow, that's awesome. Carpets out, floors are going in. I love it. I'm going to take him to the park. Okay, we'll take him. Make sure we don't lose him. Let's go get some warm clothes on. Oh, it looks good, man. Yeah. Getting it done. Oh, it's all tiled down there. Nice. She wants the rocks, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'll look good. It looks nice, dude. Wow. That is awesome work, bud. Woo. Come on, Kyle. <laughs> we'll take. 
Speaking of just trucking dot shop, this just came in the mail today. Kaz gear. Let's see what's in it. Let's get to the park. Oh, what is it? Hats. Masks. Hats. There you go, Carhartt masks. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. You want a sports channel and get a mask? That's, that's cool. Or if you want to push around your little tights. Okay, that's We're going to hit the park. That's three masks. Three? That's us. Masks? Yep. Masks? Yeah, they're three packs. So they come with a set of three Carhartts. Those are awesome. Just truck and dot shop, guys. Check, guys, check it out. Can, can you open mine and I want to try mine out. These are actually giveaway winners are getting these that we did just for a couple weeks ago. Can I try mine out? Yeah, we'll, get, we'll open them in, uh, when we get ours. But these are for giveaways that we get. Yeah. All right. Let's go get the park. Come on. Just trucking masks. Yeah, there's just trucking cups now, too. Isn't that cool? Cups? Whoa. I can't find them. Well, they're, they just got made. We'll get one soon. Okay? Really? You ran far from Tiki. Hey, that's, <laughs> and I'll see you can see two weeks Hey, can I get the chips? Oh, yeah. Let me get a little choke. There we go. Get the chips. Thank you, Kason. A little more choke. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Sit up, Bubba. Yeah. You want some chips now? All right, let's go have some for the park. God bless you guys. Check out just trucking that shop. And please pray that I get a uh, load to Atlanta. Need to get that truck fixed. I'm going to go past the You are? Okay. In the meantime, we are going to enjoy the park. Whoa. God bless everybody.